All right, class, welcome to Math 2015, Learning Outcome 20, Homework Hints. What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to get you started on the problems um, and have you finish them, so it's a little bit different approach than what I've done in the past. In the first problem here that I'm going to do, uh, vert number 29, shows two-fifths added to x over x plus 3. So this is our first problem in the homework set that has us add um, what they call rational expressions, and which are just fractions with variables in them. In number 28, they go over how to do pictures of operations with fractions with just numbers, so arithmetic. But here is where the new material is. Number 28 is just a review from 2010. The first thing that we do when we add two fractions together, whether they be rational expressions or just arithmetic numbers, we need to find a common denominator. And since there's no nothing in common between 5 and x plus 3, we'll just multiply the denominators, as we did in the lesson, to get the common denominator. So we have 5. We are going to add two fractions where the denominators are 5 over x plus 3 which is, sorry, which is something over 5 times the quantity x plus 3, okay? And what we do is what we look at the difference here between what our old denominator is and what our new one is. Okay. So we're comparing this to this. And what happened to that comparison is that we multiplied the denominator. So let me do a dot, since we have x's as variables. Multiply that by x plus 3, okay? which means that we need to do the new numerator as 2 times x plus 3 as well. Okay. With the second fraction, we took our x plus 3 and we ended up, we started with x plus 3 and we ended up with 5 times x plus 3. So what we did between here and there is we multiplied by 5. And we'll do that same thing to the new numerator. The old numerator is x, and I'm going to multiply by 5 for my new numerator here on this one. Okay. So I've converted my, my uh, fractions to equivalent fractions with the same denominator. So what we're going to do is what we have as our new equivalent fractions is 2 times the quantity x plus 3 over 5 times the quantity x plus 3 plus 5x over 5 times the quantity x plus 3. And the next step is to go ahead and add the numerators and simplify if necessary. So let's to get you started on the, that number 29. Number 30 is subtracting fractions. Subtracting rational expressions, I mean fractions with variables in them. So we have x minus so we have 4 over x minus 2 times x plus 3. Now when I do so a fraction where it has such a long denominator and a short numerator, I write my, I write my denominator first. I can put the numerator above in the middle. I'm going to subtract off. 3 times the quantity x minus x plus 5 times x minus 2. And that's 3. Okay, so here's my problem. What I'm going to do is I need to find a common denominator, but they do have something that is in common between them. They have a common factor, which means that my denominator can have all three factors in it as the least common denominator. So we can set that equal to one fraction here that is has a denominator x minus 2, x plus 3. Now this, this one right here, the second fraction has x minus 2 already, so all I need to do is add on x minus 5 to my, to my denominator. x plus 5, I mean. There we go. 
Now there's going to be, that's going to be my new fraction for this first one here. The first number, which is the menu end of the subtraction problem. And I'm going to subtract off and the subtrahend here, the second number, with the same denominator. And I'm going to rewrite the order here a little bit so that they have the same order in both fractions. But it's okay because multiplication is commutative. Okay, so what are my new numerators? This one right here started from x minus 2 to x and x plus 3 to x minus 2, x plus 3, x plus 5. So I multiplied by the quantity x plus 5. That's what happened to that denominator from the old one to the new one. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to do write my new numerator times the difference in the factors here. So it's 4 times the quantity x plus 5. Let's take a look at the second fraction from this old denominator here to the new denominator there. We have x plus 5 is the different factor. No, it's the same factor. x plus 3 is the new factor. So this one has x plus 5, x minus 2. Here's my x plus 5 and x minus 2 here. And what I need to do is I see, oh, there has been something multiplied here, which is the x plus 3. So that's what I'm going to multiply by my old denominator to get to my new one. So I'm going to multiply by x plus 3. So that my new numerator is 3 times the x, x plus 3. So those are my new fractions. We have the new denominator x minus 2, x plus 3, x plus 5. That's all under 4 times quantity x plus 5. I'm going to subtract that from the same denominator x minus 2, x plus 3, x plus 5. All under the 3 times x plus 3. Okay. The next steps, like in the addition problem, is that you subtract the numerators, keep the same denominator. And in the numerator, you can simplify by distributing and then combining like terms. So you can go ahead and do that too, just like in the, and, and do that with the addition problem as well. Okay, number 31, let's get you started on that one. Number 31 is multiplying fractions. Okay, what are we going to multiply? We're going to multiply p plus 4 over 6 times the quantity p plus 2 times um, 4 times the quantity p minus 1 times the quantity p plus 2 all over 3p minus 1 times p plus 4. Okay. Here we are multiplying fractions, which means that we just multiply the numerators and denominators first. multiply them all together and what you want to do next is you want to factor everything out so that you can see what you can cancel from the numerator denominators or which is what we're going to prefer to do in this um, homework is we're going to separate out the common factors the things that will divide out to become one okay. so let's factor the numbers and all the factors that are binomials or two terms we'll keep intact as well. So this 4 in the in the numerator is what it's calling to me first. So we're going to factor that out to 2 times 2. 
Now I have p plus 4 is the same in the numerator and denominator. Notice that I've identified here and here. Oh, wait, actually, I'm factoring. Yeah, let's factor everything first, and then we'll go look at what's in common here. And that's in the numerator, numerators and denominators. We have p plus 4, p, p minus 1, p plus 2, all over 2 times 3 times p plus 2, 3p minus 1, p plus 4. Okay, so the next step is to put all the common factors somewhere either all before or all after the ones that aren't common. So we're going to separate those out. Now notice that we have twos that are common. We have p plus 2 that's common and p plus 4 that's in common. Okay, so all of those will be separated. I'm going to push them all to the end in this case. So ones that aren't common is the 2 times p minus 1 in the numerator, that doesn't have anything in common, over the 3 times 3p three minus 1, okay. multiplying all of that by 2 times p plus 4 times p plus 2. Divide that by the 2 times p plus 4 times p plus 2 in the denominator, the old denominator. Okay, notice that these are now the same. Okay? They will divide to 1 and then you'll have your answer. Because you multiply by 1, anything multiplied by 1 is just itself. Okay? So that should get you started on that one. And then, let's see, In the homework, they have another multiplication problem, but then they have a division problem. So let's go ahead and start you on the division problem, which is 33. We have x squared plus 2x over 5 divided by 2x plus 4 over 20. Okay, so the first thing that you do when you divide fractions is you multiply the reciprocal. So we keep the same number here in the beginning. The reciprocal will be the second fraction. I'm just going to use a dot here. Okay. And the reciprocal is just taking the numerator and putting in the denominator and taking the denominator and putting in the numerator. Okay. And when we multiply these, we will continue at, with the same steps as we did before with multiplication. So we have x squared plus 2x is itself a quantity. Multiply by 20 divided by 5, multiplied by the quantity 2x plus 4. Okay, so those are both multiplying each other there. And we're going to do the same steps like we did in the last problem, where we'll factor everything out, find out what's in common, and push the common ones to the end to make 1. Um, so we'll factor out our 20 first. Usually we write numbers first. So 2 times 2 is the 4 part of 20 times 5 factoring them all into prime factors. I can factor it 2x, um, so that's my 20. Okay. I can factor out a, an x from the first one right here. So notice that I have an x here. That's in the common there. This right here is x times x. So we'll see if that will give us anything. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. So we'll go ahead and factor out an x there. So multiply by x, multiply by the quantity x plus 2. Okay. So that's what's left over. The x plus 2 is what's left over when I take out an x here by division. Okay. So we have the 2 times x here and then the x times x here. So those ones I can take out and factor them. Okay, so that's the whole numerator. Let's see what we got when we got the denominator. 5 is a prime factor. I can factor out an x from, or a 2 from here and from here because that 4 is the same as 2 times 2. Okay. So 
So I will take this two and that two and put it out front as a factor. Five times two times the quantity, what's left over when I take out my two? Um, we have just two, or just x, plus two. Okay. So we're going to see what's in common, and we'll push things to the back that are in common. Notice that the uh, twos are in common here. There's one. Oops. There's one set of twos here. Okay, so those are in common. There's one set of fives here. So those are in common. And we have a set of x plus twos right here. Those are in common. So we're going to put everything else into the front from the numerator and denominator and push everything else to the back. Okay, so from the numerator, I only have 2x. Okay? And it looks like there's nothing in the denominator. So 2x will be multiplied by the things that are in common here. 2 times 5 times x plus 2. Okay. And do that over. 2 times 5 times x plus 2. Okay. Notice again that the 2 times 5 times x plus 2, those are the same amount as a ratio numerator and denominator and those will become 1 and then you just have 1 times your 2x okay, so I'll let you finish that one out okay hopefully this was a good help for the homework and do what you can on 35 um, that one just, I'm not really going to grade but you can look at what uh, what pieces of knowledge the elementary students need to know before they do these kinds of operations with rational numbers. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video and good luck with homework. Let me know if you have any questions.